Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Codes and today in this video I will share some of the tips and tricks where which you can use to solve questions on LeetCode efficiently. And towards the end I have two golden tips that nobody talks about but I will share that with you so that you can improve your ratings as well as you can perform better during the contest and that will make you from a noob to a pro. So watch the video till the end and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. So now let's quickly move on to the lead code. So when you open the leadcode.com, it will look like this. Uh, and these are some of the discuss section. Uh, and these are some of the ways you can contribute to the lead code. Ignore all this and quickly move to the problem tab. So here in this problem tab, uh, these are the list of problems that you can see here. So if you are a beginner at lead code, what I suggest you is to do the questions that are of easy level and then go to the medium and the hard level. But when you are, whenever you are begin, beginning at any of the levels, whether it may be easy or medium or hard level, try to choose the question that has higher acceptance rate. So uh, if you are a beginner, you can sort this question based on uh, this easy, uh, how easy it takes and then sort according to the acceptance rate. So the question with higher acceptance rate are easy to solve and, uh, and for a beginner, then it is the best question to solve. Okay, so this, this is how you can start off with lit code when you are a beginner at a medium level question or even at a hard level question. Got it? Now moving on to the second thing is, so the lit code has to offer some of the feature list. So if you click on the second list, top 100 liked question. So this is a free list that is available from the lit code and this list consists of 100 questions that have most number of likes. So these are the top most question or you can say the best question uh, to practice because these are the most like question as well as most of the time the interviewer picks the question from this 100 question itself. Um, so the frequency or the probability of this question to be asked in an interview is much more higher than the other question. So what I suggest you that you must practice this 100 question before moving on to any other question. Now move on to the next tip. So for that let's move again to this problem page. So now let's uh, discuss the UI. So here you will find some uh, the contests that are coming upcoming contest. So these are some of the study plan that are created by the lead, lead code themselves. And if you see any of the study plan, then it is premium for some, uh, like some of the levels are premium, but the initial level of level one or level two are free available for you. So if you pick up any of the plan, let's say, uh, DP dynamic programming plan, then this level one is available for you and the other levels are for the premium users only. So what I suggest you that if you are a beginner, then don't go and buy a premium version of a lead code, but instead you can uh, try to practice the question as much as they are available for free on lead code. And apart from that, these are the number here you will see the number of easy, medium and hard questions solved by you. Uh, so before buying an, a lead code premium, what I suggest you that you must at least solve uh, around 100 easy question, 150, around 150 medium level of question and around 50 hard level of question. So that's uh, be that would be around 300 total question. So you must solve at this number of question before you think of buying a premium of lead code. Okay, now moving on to the next tip of this video is if you are weak at any particular topic, then you can solve that question of the particular topic instead of doing other question. And for that, what uh, here, there is one expand option. So on expanding, you will get all the lists of data structures and algorithm question that are available on lead code. Uh, so you can practice the question and, be, and make the topic a strong or stand for yourself. So let's say if you are weak at bit manipulation, then uh, open this section. And opening this section, what I told you earlier, to do the easy level question with high acceptance C rate. So sort this from easy to hard and this on the basis of acceptance. So do the question that are easy and have high acceptance rate. And this is how you can build up your concept as well as confidence in a particular topic. Okay, now moving on. So whenever you open any question, let's say for this question, you will uh, uh, see one a star here, right? That says add to list. So with the, this star, you can add it to a list, uh, either a revision list of, or your favorite question list. So that uh, whenever you try, so that there is an interview and you need to practice some specific set of question, then you can uh, practice it directly. So let me add it to this revision list or else what you can do from here also, you can create another list. Let's say revision two, you can set that as private and save. So this is how you can save the question for revision itself. And if you click on view my list, then it will uh, show you all the list as well as the question in that list. So here, this is a revision two that we have uh, added this question. Okay. Yeah. Now moving on to the next tip. Uh, this is one of the best uh, tip I can say to choose a, or a pick a question from the list of questions. 
So and anytime you want to practice a question, make sure that has high likes ratio and lower dislike ratio. So that is one of the best problems possible uh, on the lit code problem set. So here this question is around 400 likes and around 20 dislikes. So this is a good, we can say a good problem because uh, say this is 20. So this is very nominal and around 400 likes. So the ratio of four, uh, that is it's 400 divided by 20, right? So this is a very good ratio we can say but if you see any problem that has 500 600 dislike then you can probably skip that problem uh, because uh, that problem is pretty much not described in a good way or there is some issue with the problem right so this is one uh, thing that you should observe by picking up a question from uh, the set of question now one another thing to note here is that you need to make your lead code profile as good uh, so that your, if your interviewer check your lead code profile then it should be looking good enough and in order to make your lead code profile good, what you can do, you can solve your, you can solve a problem daily. And for that, lead code has one amazing feature that is daily challenge, or you can say problem of the day. So here, by clicking this icon, you can open up the problem of the day and solve this question. So uh, if you do this every day, then your streak will increase as well as it will show in the history that you are consistent enough on this platform. And that is a very good sign uh, for an interviewer to choose you. And uh, apart from this, uh, if you find any uh, problem difficult of the problem of the day, then check out our channel. I'm posting the explanation video along with the code for daily challenges. Now the next tip that I wish to share with you, it will help you to improve your performance during the contest. So if you uh, open the lead code and from here, if you go to the contest tab, so for each contest that you will see one virtual option. So with the help of that option, you can again give that contest virtually and you can see your rankings. Uh, 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 but the rankings won't affect uh, your uh, original ranking but this is how you can uh, solve the question in a time bound manner and afterwards uh, after giving this virtual contest you can upsolve them uh, by seeing the solutions or video solution on YouTube right uh, so if you practice this on a daily basis for each day for for one month if you give contest on every day then I am pretty much I pretty much guarantee you that you will surely increase your ratings uh, after a month now moving on towards the end, as I have said you earlier that I will share uh, two golden tips with you. So one of the golden tips is uh, create a sheet like this. This is our Excel sheet that I have prepared so that I can revise quickly before an interview. So here I have prepared this sheet for different uh, data structures and algorithms. Um, and uh, I have added this question section, uh, how many times revision I have done along with the link, difficulty and revise. This revise column I states that do I need to revise it again or not is this question is conceptually clear to me or not and in the end i have a comment section so this comment section uh, is where where i have written my understanding for this question and my logic that i build to solve this question so if let's say if you have an interview in next uh, one or two days and you need to uh, revise all this question so this is one of the best way to revise uh, many question quickly because you have a question link uh, you have a set of questions of each topic and for each topic you have added the comment so that uh, if you forgot the logic, then this is how you can uh, again uh, grab the logic by reading your own comments and this will help you to solve many of questions quickly. And yeah, now moving towards the end of the video, the last golden tip that I want to share with you and that nobody have ever talks about is this lead code pattern sheet. So this sheet consists of 170 questions of different difficulty level, easy, medium and hard. And uh, this question are only the questions that are asked in different companies like Bloomberg, M Apple, Amazon, Google and so many companies uh, problem list are there. And these are the most frequent questions as well. So here you can see here the list of companies that are asked this question. Uh, so, uh, pretty, uh, so by this way, you can select the question of a particular company, uh, let's say Airtel. So, or let's say there's only one question. So let's say bookings.com. So this way you can get the question that is asked in a specific company and solve them. Also there is one tick mark here so that uh, it will show your progress. So this is one of the wonderful resources that I found on the internet, but nobody talks about this. Uh, so yeah, and I share with you. So may, check out the description. I will uh, place this link in the description. Okay. So yeah, uh, that's all for this video. I hope you guys like uh, all the tips that I shared with you, especially the last two golden tips that nobody talks about. But yeah, that will surely help you during your interviews. So if you found this helpful, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some more tips to share with the viewers, then do add them in the comment section. Make sure you like this video. Thank you.